Hey guys, and welcome to Maitland Explains. On today's episode, we're gonna learn how to create a stock taken Mex, load it onto Mex iOS, and carry it out on the iPad or iPhone. Forget about your printer, because we're going to paperless today. Stock takes are essential to most businesses as they contribute to the smooth operation of the business. This means that one way or another, someone is going to have to perform regular stock takes, and as a result, gather the information you need to continue running the business profitably. Although the world has moved into the digital age, so many businesses still use pen and paper to carry out their stock takes. This carries with it deficiencies that can lead to uncounted stock, which can waste time and money. We've all carried out a stock take before. For myself, when I was in high school, I worked at Coles. I was given a pad and a pencil and told to walk up and down the aisle counting cans of fish and chicken. Now I learned two things. The first being that I really hated stock takes. And the second is that it was frustrating and tedious to write down barcode numbers. This increases the likelihood that mistakes in numbers could be made. I wish I had something like Max on my phone back then. After this video, you won't need a pad and pencil. You won't need to write down any barcode numbers. No one is going to have to try to read your horrible handwriting and then enter it into the MEX system. Instead, we have MEX stock takes. With barcode scanning and instant data entry, stock takes have never been so easy. So then, how do you get started? First, from the main menu of MEX on your desktop computer, go to the stores menu, and then on the right hand side, click stock takes. Then down the bottom left, click New Stock Take and a blank stock take details form will open. Fill in the stock take description as this is the only mandatory field. Now we need to enter in the catalog items we're going to include in the stock take. You can do this by just clicking New Line and selecting a catalog item with the ellipsis button. Once selected, leave the count field for now as we will enter this on the iPad later. Entering each item individually is going to take some time. Luckily, there is an easier way to do this. Click on the Select Stock button. Here, you can fine tune exactly which catalog items you want to include, or optionally, leave the fields blank. This will add all the items in your catalog at once. Now, with Max iOS open, from the main menu, go to Stores, and then tap Stock Take in the middle. Now, there are two different views that you can use to perform a stock take, Classic and App View. We will be using App View, so make sure that if down the bottom right and you can see Switch to App View, to click it. In the listing, you should see the stock take we created before, so tap that row and go in and enter the details. Now we're ready to begin the stock take. As you walk around the store going from item to item, the search bar becomes your best friend. You can either type the full name of the item or tap the barcode icon to bring up the camera barcode scanner, or connect up a Bluetooth barcode scanner, which is what I'd recommend. We've touched on setting up and scanning barcodes before, so check that video out in the description. You've probably noticed that in the count column there are fields which are completely blank. This always catches people out. When a stock take is processed, if the count is blank, it will skip that item altogether. However, if the count is zero, that means it will process that stock item as having zero stock on hand. Once you have a count for an item, you enter it directly into the count field, or you can use the plus and minus symbols. If the count field is blank and you click plus, it will set the count as the current stock on hand, plus one, and vice versa for minus. After you finish counting all the items, just hit process. This will create a stock adjustment transaction for each line that has a count and adjust the current stock on hand accordingly. MEX stock takes are also available in a disconnected state through the MEX Go Mobile feature. It's just as powerful as the connected version. You still have access to barcode scanning, only you can do it well out of network range. Just remember to sync your data. We've actually done a video on this before, so be sure to check it out in the description. That's it for this episode of Maitland Explains. Remember to check out those videos in the description I'm Maitland, and as always, you've been great.